Hello and welcome to a UX Pin tutorial. In this video, we'll go over the UX Pin preview. There are four modes, simulate, comments, spec, and documentation. Before I jump into those, let's start from the left of the preview window. From the menu, you have a few options. To go back to edit your prototype in the editor, go back to your dashboard of projects, start a live presentation, or log out. Next is a sitemap where you will see your pages. You can navigate through your pages here and the icon to the right indicates that there's documentation added to that page. You can also search for a specific page here. Okay, so moving on to the simulate mode where your interactions come to life. As you can see, your interactions and animations that you design in the editor work here in the simulate mode. If you'd like to see what your designs would look like on a different device, the preview is the right place to be. Your preview link of your prototype can be shared with stakeholders. The link will take them directly to the simulate mode where they can preview it. On the right, you can zoom in and out, as well as highlight the interactions. Pretty awesome, right? The next mode is comment. When you click on comment, you'll see some dots on design. That means that there was a comment left there. If it's green, that means that it was resolved. If it's purple, it's a team comment. And if it's red, it's a public comment. Now, team comments will not be visible by the stakeholder. Let's walk through adding a comment. Let's imagine that I would like this photo for Zion to be changed. I'll type in my comment and add it. Here at the top, I can choose if I want it to be a public or a team comment. It's good to know that team comments will not be visible by your stakeholders or anyone who doesn't have a UX pin account. Here you can notify specific team members or even assign a comment. On the top right, you can review all the comments, search and filter. You can filter by team or public visibility, assignments and comments that are resolved or not. Let's move on to the spec mode. Spec mode is a technical side of your design. It's great for the developer handoff. As you can see on the right side, it's a summary of your entire page. We have the general information where you can select the display. It shows the size of the canvas and the design. And there's an option to show the grid that was used. Below are the colors and information about the typography used throughout the design. The style guide also provides an overview of colors, typography, and assets. Basically everything that was used here in this design. Now let's click a specific element. As you can see, there's automated redlining. This shows me the distance between other elements on the page. Spec mode provides you with the general information such as size, color, typography, and the CSS code. The CSS code is automatically generated by UX pin. Selecting different elements will provide you with their individual specs and general information. For this box, for example, you can see the border and the radius. Next is a documentation mode. Documentation is the additional details added in the editor by the designers. This is to help developers and stakeholders understand the design more. In conclusion, preview mode is perfect for reviewing your design, collaborating with others, and perfect for developer handoff. Simulate mode is where you can execute your interactions and animations. Comment mode is where you can collaborate and collect feedback from stakeholders and team members. Spec mode provides the technical information about your design for your developer handoff. And lastly, documentation mode shares additional details about your design. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next tutorial.